This video will cover a technical detail about joystick control, which will matter to seasoned PDC operators. And it's about the way the joystick converts the position to speed commands. On Skyhoy controllers, you can now set the speed and the curve of the movement. It can also be described as how sensitive the joystick is to start movements. Speed settings define the maximum movement speed while the curve determines how quickly you reach that maximum. Let me show it to it on uh, these wonderful three cameras over here and the PPC Extreme. So to uh, set these things up, you will find it inside the menu that is set up for each of these cameras. So first thing is if we change between the cameras, you'll notice that the menu changes slightly and that is because each camera, the Bird Dog P200, the Panasonic UE150 and the Canon CIN100 camera here, they are all different. So we have home, exposure, color, details, matrix for the Canon camera. We even have an additional page here with focus settings, zoom, preset related settings, trace, and something called system. And it is inside the system menu that you find pan tilt speed, zoom speed, pan tilt curve, and the zoom curve. Looking at the Panasonic, we also have multiple pages. We have home, exposure, image. So you see, we are striving to have some similarity between the cameras, but inside each of these, if we go to, to Canon, you can see this is not called image, it's called color, color and it is something else. If we go here, then we have matrix and um, saturation and face. But going back to this menu, this is where we want to, uh, to look. It's inside PDC control. Here you have pan tail speed and zoom speed, pan tail curve and zoom curve. On the P200 Bird Dog camera, in the home menu, exposure menu, you find more or less the same things, right? color menu, but we also need to go all the way to this, well, not system menu, the PVC control menu where we have those settings. So each of these cameras, they have the settings, but it is slightly differently arranged. And now you also learned that each of these cameras being from different manufacturers and different models, they have very deep integration on our controllers. That's a very important point, And it is one reason why people really love these controllers because we truly are universal while not basically skipping out on all the details that was the reason why you purchased any of these brands. Let's try out that control as we talked about. So basically here, if we go to the Bird Dog camera and we enter PTC control, let's look at speed first. So the camera is on the screen, and if I move the joystick to the side, then you can see the max speed full swing is like that. And if I turn this down to one, full swing on the joystick, very slow, I can even, as I am actually moving, change the speed setting. So that's a good way to kind of set your max, okay? Same is true for, for zoom, let's just go here and zoom in all we can. Okay, so that's like the max zoom speed. I want to reduce that. So let's just take that down to one, zoom out. Okay, this is the slowest we can do. And as I am now turning the knob, you see that I'm, okay, this is my max zoom speed. So the speed helps you to define that upper limit. That is also a way to create safety around your joystick operation. The curve is instead is how quickly do you reach these speeds. Let's move on to Panasonic and see the same thing on this camera. So here we can enter into PTC control. We have the same for the Panasonic camera. We can see this is like the fastest speed we can achieve on pan. Now this is the slowest. Okay, I want my max to be somewhere in between. Probably this is, I don't want it to be too low actually. I want it to be like, okay, this is fair enough. Okay, so this is like max speed. What about zooming? Zooming probably could go down just a little bit. So let's just hit seven here, or let's see what it is if I go all the way to one. Extremely slow creep zoom here, okay? Let's just ramp it up slightly. Okay, so, ah, I think max zoom speed should probably be like that. That's fine, that's fine, all right. Now, let's look at the curve. So for pan tilt, notice that as I'm, and this is a little bit how I feel it here, sitting with the joystick, but maybe I can still convey it to you. So I'm moving the joystick to the side and you see linearly, it will start ramping up the speed of the camera. I'm moving and now I see it starting to mo move. All right, let's try to increase the curve. 
I'll just max it out to 25. You'll probably find a setting in between. But now, as I'm moving it to the side, I am starting to see movement now, but I've actually moved the joystick further out to the right before I see the movement. So in the slow moves, I get like more precision in a way. So you can also, it, and, and by the way, if I move it all the way full swing, you see at the end, it's going to move fast anyway. So it's like for the first many millimeters of joystick movement, I get slow movement of my camera. And then it's going to accelerate at the end, all right? So probably somewhere in between is pretty nice. Now let's try 11 here. Okay, let's get into a, an area where we do have some target we can work with, okay. And from this location, again, to the side, I'm ramping up. So I have a lot of precision, you know, in this lower end of the range. That's what it's giving me. Let's move on to Canon because here we have it as well and we can study curve in here, but it's the same. It's just um, letting you guys know how this really plays out. So this is the Canon camera. Let's see, this is like the max zoom speed in both directions. It is currently on manual focus, it seems. Okay, so maybe let's fix that, why not? Okay, we have focus menu there, it's on manual focus. Let's just put it on auto for this demonstration. Thanks. All right, let's go back to the adjustments we can do. So let's try the zoom curve. We ramp it up all the way. So now I'm turning the knob and you see it's starting slowly. I am getting more speed here and now I'm moving it to the end and then I get the acceleration. Let's try again the other way. So the long first part of this range I have a, a lot of, of room to operate the zoom and have like slow zoom adjustment, a lot of precision down here. The same would be true for the zoom rocker. These two are synchronous. By the way, something that you might want to disable, I mean, just be careful because with the joystick, if you are kind of zooming on it and you are counter zooming on the rocker, it might just, you know, be a big mess. So that's one thing, but it's like up to you. I'm pressing down the zoom rocker even more and now I'm getting the final accelerated zoom. So that is at 25. If I go back to zero, then I have a much more linear approach. I'll find that my zoom speed is ramping up linearly. So I experience that quicker it is getting. I don't need to press it as far before I get quick zoom. So once again, probably somewhere in between is the best setting that you can get for these cameras. That, ladies and gentlemen, is essentially PDC speed and curve control on a Skyhoy PDC Extreme. The web UI, by the way, looks like this. This is a completely self-controlled product. Everything that is necessary to control these three widely different cameras is found inside this box. This computer is only here to help me set it up to add devices very easily over here. I can just add a new device if I want, discover it on the network, pick it from our long list of supported devices. This is options found on my network. I can even add more controllers and I can add an ATEM switcher for routing control, which is whenever I press these buttons, the change that is happening, as we're also witnessing it on this video, is actually done by a video switcher. We have a simulation tool inside so that you have basically software UI that helps you to do the same. Now I'm changing around the different uh, cameras on it and so on. And there's also a configuration section which can do something really fancy which is letting you customize this product. You can customize the individual sections for Canon XE products. You can basically page through the pages on the Canon. You see these pages here. I am now doing it on the controller, but you could also do it down here. And then you can click these and then you can change the settings over here. The same would be true if we go to the bird dog camera, we can visit the bird dog. Uh, sorry, that was the wrong one, this one the bird dog configuration. And then once again, I have a page selector down here that allows me to now visit these different things. And I could add a new function to the camera over here if I wanted to. This is not being covered in this video, but we also have finally a user section. And with the user section, you can basically take anything on top and just, you know, change it. So let's say you don't you don't use this button. You can basically select something else. You could do a cut on your ATEM switch on this button. Let's find transition, select the cut transition. And now we have a cut button on the ATEM switcher on, on this button. Just add it on top of the pre-made configurations that just comes out of the home screen where we select the, the cameras. So this UI is really, really powerful. And it's also really simple to just set it up and get it working out of the box.
Thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe to stay updated. You can also contact us on social media. And honestly, we would love to hear from our dedicated users for any sort of feedback on how we can develop hardware and software that makes your life in production easier, safer, and cooler.